What up, YouTube, man? Right now, man, I'm at Ryder right now, picking up our truck. Uh, so, this is a little thing you all gotta expect, man, when y'all written a truck. So, uh, our truck, man, it needed an oil change, plus the engine light came on, and another light came on under that as well. So, um, and plus our headlight went out, our right side on our headlight, it had went out. So we brought it up here to Ryder. Of course, we're in a rental still, so everything that goes wrong with the truck, y'all already know, they have to fix it. And you know, Ryder been excellent about fixing it. Uh, we've been out here in Colorado, probably like uh, just a day, a day or so. They was waiting on the engine filter uh, that they ordered. So that came in today, man. So we about to be up and rolling today, uh, which they just called us. So hopefully I can show y'all some footage on the inside of the truck of how they fixing it, but yeah man so this is just something y'all can expect man when y'all written so uh i'm gonna go up in there now talk to the guy and see what you know see what they're talking about so stay out stay tuned there she go All right, y'all, so they just brought the truck out of the shop. Uh, so one thing that was wrong with it, like I say, the right side of the uh, the lights and everything, it was not, it was like no electrical. Yeah, one thing that was wrong with it, man, it was no lights on the uh, right side. I gotta get this truck off my wash, man. So that was really like our main thing we was concerned with. So the lights is working. And then it was the engine light on. So they weren't able to take the engine light off. So what we gonna do is uh, we get to Houston, we just gonna drop it off in Houston because I told them we was really trying to leave and get back. So. They did do the PM and everything like that, but uh, just to, like I say, they couldn't, they wasn't able to take the engine light off. They said they still think it was due to the filter, but he's like, just take it in in Houston just to be sure and everything like that. So, yep. And we got Deja ass over here. What are you looking at? I'm just She's just happy to be back moving. Yeah, man. So, uh, basically, man, that's what you can expect. Like I said, if you got if you got a rental truck, man, and you have any problems with your rental truck or anything like that, man, just bring it in to the nearest rider budget or whatever, and uh, they gonna take care of you, man. Like I said, they still wasn't able to get these check engine lights out, but uh, I got more time in Houston just to drop it off and leave it there for like uh, two days. So. You know, of course, they should get it off by then. So, definitely, man. Like I say, man, if you're renting, everything is free. You don't have to pay anything, man. And you know, they gon' they gonna hook your truck up, man. So, don't be nervous. You got anything to say? Nothing. All right, man. So, like I say, man, that was the video, man. Just to what you should expect when you got a rental truck, and you know, something goes wrong with your rental truck, man. Just bring it in. Don't be nervous. Don't think they're gonna take your truck back because they not, you know, as long as you communicating with them. And you know, just always communicate, man. If anything wrong with that truck, man, just communicate with them and keep that relationship solid, man. So like I say, this guy up in here, man, he's real solid. He was a black guy too. Uh real solid dude, man. So every time I come out here in Denver, anything wrong with it, I can always hit him up, man. So uh so yeah, man. So we out, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, man. So we out. All right, we got...